Okay, hi there, you guys. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is again um, another little short video about AODA uh, compliancy and uh, remediation of PDF documents. And so, what I'm going to speak about today is uh, references and notes within the paragraph, I mean, sorry, within the um, PDF tag tree. So when you're going through a PDF tag tree, you kind of like click on each thing here. You have a figure, a paragraph, a heading, um, etc. In this case, I'm going to uh, click on the next paragraph, which I know have uh, references in here. So here's a reference right there, and there's another reference. So 11 reference and 12 reference. I can open up this P tag, and I will see these references right here. Okay. Now, the issue uh, with this is that um, there are no notes for these references at the moment. Well, there are notes for them, but they're not in the correct tag. So I'm just clicking on down through here. And the, here is one of the notes for the first one, the 11. Um, right now, it is a paragraph tag, but we want to make it into a note tag. So I'm going to say new tag. I right clicked and went new tag. And this opens up this drop down menu and you can select different things, whatever it is that you are looking for. In this case, it is a note and you say, okay. Um, now this is something that always happens within PDF when you do this. I'm not sure why it does this, but it reverts back to the first page, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, all you have to worry about is looking over here into your tag panel and finding where that P tag was that you need. There's the empty note tag right here. I know that this note tag is empty because it doesn't have the little right chevron clicking towards it. And when you click on it and nothing happens, the P tag, however, when you click on that, there it is. Okay. So we're just going to drag that P tag down into the notes, close up that note. And now we're going to back up again and try to find where that reference was in here. So it wasn't in that paragraph. It was in this one. And here it is. That's reference 11. You can click down to find it. And now I'm just going to go back down to this note that I just made and I'm going to drag it up to this 11 reference and put it underneath. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again. This P tag goes to the 12 note. I want to make a new note. Yes. And again, it's right here. You pull that down into this note. Close your note up. Go back up here and find that paragraph. And here's your second reference, 12. I mean, your 12 reference. <laughs> okay, pull that note right up next to the reference. Okay, so there you see you have your 11 reference, 11 note. 12 reference, 12 note. Okay, in some cases, what happens um, in these documents is that um, the reference right here um, sometimes is not highlighted. So in that case, what you would need to do is uh, you have to create your own reference. So you would go to the um, reading order underneath the um, access accessibility uh, panel here. And you'd go to the reading order. Um, right now, well, I'm sorry, I'm just going to try to, oh, I can't click off it at the moment. But anyway, um, actually, oh, whatever. Anyway, okay, so the 11 right here. What happens is that if it's not highlighting like this, you would have to actually drag, um, you can show, oh sorry, this is how you see that there is an actual reference in here by show page content groups. Um, so we can see that this is already marked. If it wasn't marked and we didn't see any highlighting, we would just take our cursor over it until we grab it, you know, like this. And we see that we have it and then we would actually click on reference right here in this panel and that would create your reference tag which would then show up over in your tag panel okay all right have fun making your references and um, your notes <laughs> good luck